Joaquin Morietta Carrillo, sometimes spelled Murrieta or Morietta, 1829 July 25, 1853, also called the Mexican Robin Hood or the Robin Hood of El Dorado, was a famous figure in California during the California Gold Rush of the 1850s. Depending on the point of view, he was considered as either an infamous bandit or a Mexican patriot. In 1919, Johnston Macaulay supposedly received his inspiration for his fictional character Don Diego de la Vega better known as Zorro from the 1854 book entitled The Life and Adventures of Joaquin Murrieta, the celebrated California bandit by John Rollin Ridge. John heard about a Mexican miner who had turned to banditry and was intrigued by the story. Controversy over his life Controversy surrounds the figure of Joaquin Morietta, who he was, what he did, and many of his life's events. This is summarized by the words of historian Susan Lee Johnson. So many tales have grown up around Morietta that it is hard to disentangle the fabulous from the factual. There seems to be a consensus that Anglos drove him from a rich mining claim, and that, in rapid succession, his wife was raped, his half-brother lynched, and Morietta himself horsewhipped. He may have worked as a Monte dealer for a time, then, according to whichever version one accepts, he became either a horse trader and occasional horse thief, or a bandit. John Rollin Ridge grandson of the Cherokee leader Major Ridge, wrote a dime novel about Morietta, the fictional biography contributed to his legend, especially as it was translated into various European languages. A portion of Ridge's novel was reprinted in 1858 in the California Police Gazette. This story was picked up and subsequently translated into French. The French version was translated into Spanish by Roberto Hayen, who took Ridge's original story and changed every Mexican reference to Chilean for either nationalistic reasons or to better fit the Chilean market. Early Life and Education Most biographical sources hold that Morietta was born in Hermosillo in the northwestern state of Sonora, Mexico. However, evidence suggests was not one man, but three or five, whose exploits were recorded as one. Migration to California Morietta reportedly went to California in 1849 to seek his fortune in the California Gold Rush. He encountered racism in the extreme competition of the rough mining camps. While mining for gold, he and his wife supposedly were attacked by American miners jealous of his success. They allegedly beat him and raped his wife. However, the source for these events is not considered reliable, as it was a dime novel, The Life and Adventures of Joaquin Murrieta, written by John Rollin Ridge and published in 1854. The historian Frank Latta, in his 20th century book, Joaquin Murrieta and His Horse Gangs, 1980, wrote that Morietta was from Hermosillo in the northern Mexican state of Sonora, and that he had a paramilitary band made up of relatives and friends. Lada documented that they regularly engaged in illegal horse trade with Mexico, and had helped Morietta kill at least six of the Americans who had attacked him and his wife. He and his band attacked settlers and wagon trains in California. They also stole horses driving them from Contra Costa County to the Central Valley via the remote La Verde del Monte Trail through the Diablo Range. The gang is believed to have killed up to 28 Chinese and 13 Anglo-Americans. By 1853, the California State Legislature considered Morietta enough of a criminal to list him as one of the so-called Five Joaquins on a bill passed in May 1853. The legislature authorized hiring for three months a company of 20 California Rangers, veterans of the Mexican-American War, to hunt down Joaquin Botel Liar, Joaquin Carrillo, Joaquin Muriata, Joaquin Ocamorinia, and Joaquin Valenzuela, and their banded associates. On May 11, 1853, the Governor John Bigler signed an act to create the California State Rangers, to be led by Captain Harry Love 
a former Texas Ranger and Mexican War veteran. The state paid the California Rangers $150 a month, and promised them a $1,000 governor's reward if they captured the wanted men. On July 25, 1853, a group of rangers encountered a band of armed Mexican men near Arroyo de Cantua on the edge of the Diablo Range near Coalinga, California. In the confrontation, three of the Mexicans were killed. They claimed one was Morietta, and another Manuel Garcia, also known as Three-Fingered Jack, one of his most notorious associates. Two others were captured. A plaque California Historical Landmark No. 344, near Coalinga at the intersection of State Routes 33 and 198 now marks the approximate site of the incident. As proof of the outlaws' deaths, the rangers cut off three-fingered Jack's hand, and the alleged Maeda's head, and preserved them in a jar of alcohol to bring to the authorities for their reward. Officials displayed the jar in Mariposa County, Stockton, and San Francisco. The rangers took the display throughout California, spectators could pay $1 to see the relics. Seventeen people, including a Catholic priest, signed affidavits identifying the head as Maeda's, alias Carrillo. Love and his rangers received the $1,000 reward money. In August 1853, an anonymous Los Angeles-based man wrote to the San Francisco Alta California Daily that Love and his rangers murdered some innocent Mexican Mustang catcher, and bribed people to swear out affidavits. Later that fall, California newspapers carried letters by a few men claiming that Captain Love had failed to display Mae at his head at the mining camps, but this was not true. On May 28, 1854, the California State Legislature voted to reward the Rangers with another $5,000 for their defeat of Morietta and his band. But, 25 years later, the myths began to form. In 1879, O.P. Stitcher was reported to have heard Morietta's sister say that the displayed head was not her brother's. At around the same time, numerous sightings were reported of Morietta as an old man. These were never confirmed. His preserved head was destroyed during the 1906 San Francisco earthquake and subsequent fire. His head is displayed prominently in the Cosmopolitan Hotel in Old Town San Diego, so there are doubts to whether his preserved head, in fact, still exists. The Real Zorro Marietta's nephew, known as Procopio, became one of California's most notorious bandits of the 1860s and 1870s, he purportedly wanted to exceed the reputation of his uncle. Morietta was possibly partly the inspiration for the fictional character of Zorro, the lead character in the five-part serial story, The Curse of Capistrano, written by Johnston McCulley, and published in 1919 in a pulp fiction magazine. For some activists, Morietta had come to symbolize the resistance against Anglo-American economic and cultural domination in California. The Association of Descendants of Joaquin Morietta says that Morietta was not a gringo eater, but he wanted to retrieve the part of Mexico that was lost at that time in the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. Representations in Media Joaquin Morietta has been a widely used romantic figure in novels, stories, and films and on TV. Literature Folger y Muert de Joaquin Murrieta, T.R. The Splendor and Death of Joaquin Murrieta by Ben Ballet, a play by the Chilean Nobel laureate Pablo Neruda, published in English in paperback in 1972. The Home Auxiliary Mains de Queer, The Man with the Leather Hands, by French writer Robert Gaylard, published in 1963. Daughter of Fortune, a 1999 novel by Isabel Allende, includes the mythical figure of Morietta. Zvezda i Smert Kokan Amuretti The Star and Death of Joaquin Murrieta, 1976, opera by Alexei Ribnikov and Pavel Grushko, is based on Pablo Neruda's play. The Life and Adventures of Joaquin Murrieta, 1854 
by John Rollin Ridge, published one year after Murrieta's supposed death. Parts of this were translated into French and Spanish, adding to his legend in Europe. Burns, Walter Noble, 1932. The Robin Hood of El Dorado. New York, Coward McCann, Inc. Bandit's Moon, 1998, by Sid Fleischman, an award-winning children's novel. L.A. Outlaws, a 2008 novel by T. Jefferson Parker, and another of Parker's Charlie Hood series of novels, feature Morietta as an ancestor of some of the main characters. The History and Adventures of the Bandit Joaquin Morietta, 2012, a novella by Stanley Moss, B. 1948, retelling the legend of the outlaw intertwined with a memoir. This is a suit, a slam poem by Joaquin Zawetanjo. The California Trail by Ralph Compton, a small part in chapters 22 and 23. Film and TV The Robin Hood of El Dorado, 1936 film by William A. Wellman. The Bandit Queen, 1950 film by William Burke with Philip Reed as Morietta. The Adventures of Kit Carson, 1951 series television premiere episode, California Bandits, with Rico Alanis as Morita. Stories of the Century, 1954 television series, episode Joaquin Morietta with Rick Jason in the starring role. Death Valley Days, long-running television and radio western anthology series, episodes I Am Joaquin, 1955 with Cliff Fields, credited as Field, as Morietta, and Eagle in the Rocks, 1960, with Ricardo Montalban playing Morietta. The Last Rebel a 1958 Mexican film with Carlos Thompson as Morietta. The Firebrand a 1962 film with Valentin de Vargas as Morietta. Murrieta, a 1965 Spanish western directed by George Sherman with Jeffrey Hunter as Morietta. The Big Valley, United States ABC TV series, 1967, episode Joaquin with Fabrizio Mayanai as Juan Molina, suspected to be Joaquin Morietta. Desperate Mission, United States television movie, 1969, with Ricardo Montalban as Joaquin Morietta. The Mask of Zorro, 1998, film features a youthful Morietta and his death at the hands of Captain Harrison Love, a fictionalized version of Morietta's real killer Harry Love. His fictional brother Alejandro, Antonio Banderas, assumes the role of Zorro, and kills Love in revenge. Victor Rivers played Joaquin and Matt Letcher played Captain Love. Morietta is referenced in CSIS 05E12 Snakes by a suspect claiming to be his descendant and therefore protected by him. Behind the Mask of Zorro, 2005, a History Channel documentary about Morietta and how he inspired the character of Zorro. Faces of Death 2, 1981 fake documentary film about death. Morietta's head in the jar was believed to have survived the earthquake and was sold to different collectors, its current owner has it on display, and explains the legend. The Head of Joaquin Morietta, 2015, PBS short documentary. As producer John Valadez seeks the head of Morietta, and seeks to bury it. Music. Asi como hoy matan negros, recorded by Victor Jara and Inti Iamani based on Pablo Neruda and Sergio Ortega's collaboration Fulgur y Muir de Joaquin Murrieta. Cuca de Joaquin Murrieta recorded by both Victor Jara and Quilapayun, in the style of Chile's national dance, the Cuca, the song is featured on the album X Vietnam. Premonition de la Muir de Joaquin Murrieta, Premonition of the Death of Joaquin Murrieta, a tribute to Murrieta, performed by Quilapayun. The song is featured on the album Quilapayun Chante Neruda. The Ballad of Joaquin Morietta, performed by the Sons of the San Joaquin on the album Way Out Yonder. The Bandit Joaquin recorded by Dave Stamey. Morita's Head written and recorded by Dave Alvin on the album 1111. 
Joaquin Morietta by Spectra Paris. Joaquin Morietta, 1853 by Bob Frank and John Murray. Corrido de Joaquin Morietta by Los Alegres de Tehran. Stella Ireland and Lady Luck by American folk singer slash songwriter slash guitarist Debbie McClatchy. Audios K. Arita recorded by Wayne Austin on the album by the old San Joaquin. Delgado recorded by Jean Clark and Carla Olson, from the album So Rebellious a Lover, 1987, written by Jean Clark slash Rick Clark. La Lienda de Joaquin Murrieta Ballet by Jose Luis Dominguez, Chilean composer slash conductor. Released by Naxos Records in 2016. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.